We love Sparplug. Sparplug is a sampler that's based on a set of Indian musical instruments. In this video, we're going to show you three different ways to control Sparplug from GeoShred. You can control Sparplug with virtual MIDI on your iOS device. You can control Sparplug as an AUV3 plugin on your iOS device, or you can run Sparplug on your desktop computer and control it from GeoShred through a USB cable. Let's take a look. First, let's take a look at controlling Sparplug from GeoShred using Virtual MIDI. I'm going to start GeoShred, and I've chosen to use preset number 127, MIDI Out Control. This is our generic MIDI Out uh, controlling preset. Most of these controls won't mean anything to Sparplug, but this is a good place to get started. Also, under Menu MIDI, I'm going to choose the Multi-Channel Mode MIDI Configuration, and under the DIN Connector, I'm going to make sure that I'm doing MIDI Out. Great, let's put GeoShred into the background and I'm going to start Sparplug. So Sparplug won't see GeoShred's virtual MIDI interface, however, uh, it is uh, accepting MIDI from different sources. I'm going to choose the Vena instrument. There it is in Sparplug, and now we'll switch back to GeoShred. And let's just take a look under MIDI for just a minute. We'll see that um, under the DIN connector, it sees Sparplug and it's sending MIDI to Sparplug. And then let's just go ahead and try to play it. That's great. Now one thing to note is you want to make sure that the pitch bend range is correct. And the test we always use for that is this. And the pitch bend range is correct. If it's not correct, usually you can just hit this little red panic button and that will send all the correct messages to Sparplug to set it to the correct pitch bend range. Next, we'll look at using GeoShred to control Sparplug as an AUV3 plugin. We're going to use a host, an AUV3 host, to host both GeoShred and Sparplug. I'm going to use the host AUM. The first thing that I'll do is load GeoShred as an audio unit extension. I'm going to choose the MIDI processor audio unit. Next, I'll load Sparplug as an audio unit extension. Now I'm going to route MIDI from GeoShred to Sparplug. I'll go to Sparplug first, and I'll choose the Vena. And then I'll go to GeoShred. I want to resize the window just a little bit. And I'm still using MIDI out control, uh, preset number 127, and I should be able to play it from here. If you're using a Mac, you can connect your iPad directly to the Mac to send USB and audio with a standard USB to lightning cable. If you're running iOS 11 and Sierra or greater on your Macintosh, you can directly connect your iPad using audio MIDI setup. You'll notice that there's a button here that says enable. If I enable that, now I'm able to send both USB MIDI and USB audio directly to Logic. If you're working with a PC or another DAW, you'll have to look at whatever instructions go along with that type of device to be able to send MIDI to that device. If you have iOS that's earlier than iOS 11 and Mac OS that's earlier than Sierra, there's a third party product called MIDI Mux Studio Mux that can do the same thing. In the notes section of this video, you'll find a pointer to an application note on how to use MIDI Mux Studio Mux. So I'm in Logic and I'm going to create a new project. It's going to be an empty project and I'm going to create a software instrument with SPAR plug as the instrument and output is one and two. We'll go ahead and create that. Okay, and let's go ahead and pull up the inspector. There we go, and we'll move it a little bit out of the way here. And let's bring GeoShred in here now. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and start GeoShred Pro. 
and I'm still using uh, MIDI out control, um, that uh, preset. So let's take a look at menu MIDI. And I'm still gonna use the multi-channel mode configuration. However, uh, if we look in SFAR plug, if we go here under um, controls, we see that the maximum pitch bend range is nine semitones. Okay, so let's go ahead now and choose an instrument. I'm gonna choose the Vena. Let's go back here to menu MIDI and we're going to edit the multi-channel mode configuration. And uh, the default uh, pitch bin range is 12, but we need to match the nine that's over here in SFAR plug. So we're gonna go ahead and make it nine over here as well. And with that, we should be able to match the pitch bin range. Okay, let's just go ahead and play it briefly. Okay, that's great. Now let's go ahead and go over here and uh, we'll go ahead and close this. And, and let's go ahead and record something. Okay, let's go ahead and stop that. And we'll rewind it and we'll play it back. That's great.